money and it couldn't help them. They had all the resources and couldn't help them. It wasn't until Moses came and began to worship that God gave him a word and the word created the way. So in every problem that I run across in my life, the first thing I've learned to do is I've learned to worship. I've learned. To, I, it wasn't something that I had. I didn't come in here with it. I had to learn it. I learned to worship. If I create an attitude of receiving, then I take the if. I take the maybe. Now I know that I will get there. Now I, so I quit tripping because I can do something and say, and you know, and hopefully I'll make it. Hopefully I'll get there. If we do this, do this, then we'll be. I'm not achieving. I'm receiving. So when God told a man, receive your sight, receive your education, receive your healing. It's a gift. Receive your successful business. Receive your career. Receive your great child. Receive your good man. Receive it. It's yours. You're in a season now that if you sow it, you're going to reap it immediately. You're going to reap it right when you sow it. There's an opportunity here that if you can just plant your seed, whatever it is, you're going to receive a hundredfold. See, I have times in my life where it's up and down. I'm good here, then I'm good here, and then it goes. He said, but there will come a point when you stay faithful and you line up in the right season. You're going to plant a seed and it will be the gift that you're in that season right now, New Horizon Ranking, that you can plant your seed, whatever, whatever opportunity seed, you plant it right now, it's going to keep If you can remain faithful, don't, don't, don't look at where I am right now and judge who you think I am. Don't look at me in this bad moment while I'm down, thinking that it ain't no up in me. Don't get confused by this position. Don't get confused by this low space that I'm in. Don't get confused by this low spot because don't get confused because I got a whole portion over here that's waiting for me on the other side of my worship. Found himself in the hog pen. And the Bible says that he didn't get saved. He didn't go to the altar. Right there in the hog pen, the only thing he changed was his mind and he remembered his portion. But if you would have walked by and saw him in the hog pen, you'd have been like, who was this joker down here with these hogs, man? They go, who does that? You just, that is so stupid. I can't believe that somebody would be playing in the mud with the hogs. And so you judge me on this low. When I get my act together and remember who I am, I got a whole nother portion. So how do I plan it? I speak it. Every morning you get up, you say, you know what? I am a good man. I'm a great woman. I am a successful businessman. I am a career woman. I got this. And sometimes you're going to say it with tears in your eyes. I got this. Keep saying it. Keep letting God plant it and plant it. And as he, as he continues to plant, he'll be uprooting all the negative stuff. And you'll start seeing the universe line up to make you a great dad. My brain is my intellect, what I've learned. My mind is what God has said and planted on the inside of me. They're two different things.